Today, I, I am going to talk on the antithermal artery. This is an important anatomical structure and it must know for analogies. And it is very much important structure during endoscopic sinus surgery. So, this antithermal artery is a st structure of great interest for an endoscopic sinus surgeon because this makes an important landmark to locate the frontal sinus and anterior base area. Apart from that, it is also important to visualize this artery during the severe epistaxis cases. So let's go to a brief anatomical review of the anterior artery. It is basically originates from the distal part of the ophthalmic artery. This, this is the ophthalmic artery which gives branch to the posterior artery and then uh, anterior third pa part of the orbital cavity it gives rise to the uh, this anterior artery. And this anterior artery crosses the middle orbital wall passing through the anterior foramen as shown in the figure. So traveling to the anterior area. Next, the vessel often passes through a thin wall bony canal or in the depth of the ethmoidal lamella as shown in the figure. But less frequently, the anterior artery courses outside the bony canal wall also as shown in the figure. So it is more vulnerable for injury in that case. Then after crossing the ascending ethmoidal lamella, the vessel courses becomes endocranial as shown in the figure. This is endocranial and it is parallel to lamina cribosa and at that point, it gives the several collateral vessels. After the intracranial entry into the olfactory fossa area, it turns anteriorly, thus forming the anterior ethmoidal sulcus within the lateral lamina of the home plate, as shown by the, this yellow arrow. There, there is the anterior ethmoidal sulcus we can see in this area, and this part is the very vulnerable part during the anterior skull base surgery. And there is a point of the traumatic injury during the endoscopic sinus surgery also. So let's go to the branches of the anterior artery. This artery irrigates the anterior cells and also frontal sinus. Apart from that, it also gives rise to the anterior meningeal branches in the course along the olfactory fossa as shown in the figure, left-sided figure, and descends to the nasal fossa to irrigate the anterior third of the nasal septum and also lateral wall of the nodes. And it also gives rise to the part of the crystal back plexus also. And it is characterized by three segments as shown in the figure, the one which is very brief, interorbital segment, then it becomes the intraethmoidal segment and uh, then it gives you the endocranial segment. And this intraethmoidal segment is more vulnerable to injury during the sinus surgery. So as for the lenon passenial at all, there is the grading of the antithermal artery location during the uh, course to the ethmoidal area. And the grade one is as shown in the figure when the AEA is or antithermal artery is found to be embedded in the skull base. It is, this is the coronal view and this is skull base area, this is the view. It shows that the artery lies within the skull base. And uh, also it is shown in the coronal section of CT scan that the anterior artery lies within the skull base area. This just before stands for skull base and this is the arrow showing the anterior artery within the skull base area. Likewise, in the grade two, it courses on the skull base and the scene as a protrusion at the skull base area as shown in the figure. This is seen as a protrusion in the coronal view, but inside the view it is also seen clearly as a protrusion. And this coronal cut, we can see there is the uh, antithermal art area. This is the seen as a protrusion in the coronal section also as shown in the, this figure. Next is the grade three. It travels freely at a distance from the skull base area. As shown, it travels freely at distance from the skull base area as shown in the coronal cut in the uh, symmetric diagram in the sagittal cut. It is, it is remains like a mesentery within the mesentery. And uh, in this grade 3 anterior artery, this is the mole pulmonary liver for injury during endoscopic sinus surgery. So what is the surgical importance? The main surgical importance is that if there is a poor recognition of the different variation of the anterior artery, then there is a chance of the injury to the artery during endoscopic sinus surgery. Likewise, iatrogenic injury to the anterior artery can result in the major complications such as retro vital hematoma, and uh, if it is not decomposed within an hour, then it there may lead to the vision loss. And if there is injury to the antithermal sulcus at the lateral lamella of grief home plate area, then there is chance of cerebrospinal fluid leak. So that's why it is very much important to know about the anatomical variation of the antithermal artery. And it is mandatory and it is must to do the CT scan of the nose and panels and during endoscopic sinus surgery and also identify the variation of the antithermal artery before going to surgery. Thank you.